So I'm here at the uh, 2022 European Figure Skating Championships with a very familiar face to um, Irish skating fans and people involved in the sport in Ireland, Clara Peters. Um, welcome to Tallinn. It's, can we say, your fifth Europeans, but your first as team leader. Obviously, you can beat four times before, and your second time was here in, in Tallinn back in 2010. So can you just talk to us a little bit about how different it is here to, to, be, to, you, to be here as an official this time? Yeah, hi everyone. Um, it's absolutely great to be one back at Euros, but also to be back in Tallinn. This was a fantastic competition to compete at. The organization was superb. And it's great to see that 12 years later, the venue's changed, but that's about it. It's great to be back in Tallinn. And for this to be my first Europeans as team leader, it's great to be in a nice, welcoming, familiar environment where I know the organization is going to be superb. I know that the quality of the skaters is going to be great to watch and to cheer on. So it's great to be back. And it's different being on this side of the boards, but a brilliant experience all the same. Fantastic. And obviously, Connor did great um, earlier this week. We were really pleased. Um, but a lot of people have been asking me, um, when are we going to get the next Irish woman competing at the European Championships? Because we haven't had one since you last competed at the event in 2012. Yeah, Connor did fantastic. Um, and it's great to see that, you know, his journey, he's always bettered his scores and his results. As for the ladies, you know, we have a good crop of junior ladies that are just starting to itch their toes um, into more of a senior rank, hopefully. So I wish I had, you know, a magic eight ball that I could predict the future, but I can't. But hopefully in the next few years, we'll see an Irish lady back here. And obviously, you know, kind of we're all wearing masks here, you know, and COVID, you know, the, the specter of COVID is ever present. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about how, I mean, obviously it's affected the, the entire global skate community, but how it's affected Ireland in particular? COVID is something that we are constantly dealing with. We're constantly having to change how we do things. And, you know, sport in Ireland has taken a huge hit as sport everywhere has. Hopefully, you know, we'll see, I hate to say a new normal emerging, but hopefully we'll see that soon. Um, we've had to postpone skating events in Ireland for the last two years, which has been heartbreaking for everyone involved. And I hope, I hope next year is, is better for all of us. And then, um, obviously, you know, since you were last competitor, uh, a, a new thing for the Ice Skating Association is, is speed skating that we've kind of been developing. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so we have developed short track and long track speed skating and it has, it's flying. It's, um, you know, we have three men competing in short track and we have a lady in long track and, you know, it's going from strength to strength and it's something that I think the Irish are really, really, really excited about. It's it's a new sport, it's exciting, and yeah, I hope we keep progressing up the ranks in that. Well, that's great, thanks very much. And, and obviously, um, next year, Europeans in, is in Helsinki, which is a special city for you. It's where you first uh, where you first competed at an ISU championship. So hopefully we'll see you back there. Hope so too. Okay, thank you. Thanks.